this past Monday, I went up to Moose Jaw and had my mum take me on a tour of a bunch of small towns around there. My grandparents had moved around quite a bit before they moved into Moose Jaw, and so they'd lived in places like Stony Beach and Keystown and Pence and Briarcrest, and so I got her to take me around and show me where they lived and where they had been. And, and going to all those places were, was fun for her because they were familiar, right? She remembered uh, being there as a kid, that everything looked similar. There were trees that she used to climb in, those sorts of things, right? Things that were familiar are kind of nice, aren't they? It's sort of like when you hear your favorite song come on the radio, or even just a song that you used to like years and years ago but hadn't thought about much. Something that's familiar is really good. This week, uh, in our sermons and in our Bible study, we are looking at two of the most familiar stories from the Old Testament. Uh, in the Bible study, we're going to be in 1 Kings chapter 18, and we're going to talk about Elijah and the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. That's the least well-known of the two stories we're going to look at, but still, it's quite well-known. Uh, go read 1 Kings 18, and you'll find out that Elijah is going to have a showdown with the false prophets, and he's going to prove who the real God is. It's a great story. It has lots of things to teach us about faithfulness and trust, and, and we'll go through a bunch of that in Bible study. So 1 Kings 18 is what we're doing there, so please go read ahead as we won't have time to read every single verse. Then when we get to the sermon, we're going to talk about Jonah. Jonah is a favorite story that we tell in vacation Bible schools and in Sunday schools. Uh, Jonah is a story that is easy to understand, full of action, but full of some really, really important truths for us to grab onto and, and think about as well. The sermon's going to be called Into the Deep, What Jonah Teaches Us About God and Our Relationship with Him. Some very basic truths that we need to know but uh, as Jonah will show us, when we forget these basic truths, then we're in all kinds of trouble. So we're going to go with the familiar this week, uh, which I think is really good. Because sometimes when, you, when something is really familiar, a text is really familiar, you don't spend so much time wrestling with it and trying to understand it. It's easier to um, just listen to the lessons that come from it and learn from it. So uh, that's going to be our goal this Sunday. Uh, the rain just stopped here. It rained this morning. Uh, that was really nice. Uh, the sun's out and everything looks nice again. I'm looking forward to Sunday. It's going to be a good day. I hope you're there.